Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. In this video, we'll look into event. We can use event to control an execution. For example, if we want to print this message only after the clock toggles, we can put alias clock here. If this is the clock behavior, the message will be printed at this moment. We can use pause hash clock to monitor clock toggling from 0 to 1 and neck hash clock to monitor clock toggling from 1 to 0. We can also use comma or the keyword or to combine several events. And the several events can come from different signal, for example, clock and reset. Following this example, the pause hash will block until here, the neck hash will block until here, this will block until here, and this will block until here. The example here should be easy to understand. The statement after alias is an event. However, there may be some confusion because clock can be an event or an expression. In an if statement, clock is an expression. If clock is the same as if clock equals to 1. However, with alias, clock is an event and it means changes of the clock. Alias clock is the same as alias pause hash or neck hash of the clock. Apart from alias, we can also use the syntax wait and here are some examples. The thing to note is that clock here is an expression. Wait clock is the same as a wait clock equals to 1. Let's look at this example to understand the difference between alias and wait. There are three aliases and three wait statements. The first alias wait for the clock to change and it happens here. And similarly, the second alias will wait until here and the third alias will wait until here. Now we move to the wait statement. The wait statement wait for the clock to become 1, but the clock is already 1, so the wait is over. Interestingly, the second and the third wait statement are also the same, almost as if they are not having any effect. If we use alias clock to move the clock forward to this point where clock becomes 0, then the wait clock will wait until the clock becomes 1, which happens at this point. Now we can create an event variable like this, and this is how we trigger the event, and this is how we wait or block the event. Event is useful to represent a trigger that depends on special conditions. And this is a simple example of an OR gate which is clocked. If we are interested at the moment when the output becomes OR1, we can create an event for it. In this way, the event can notify us that the special condition has happened. Besides alias, event can also be used with wait, but since wait requires an expression, it cannot use event variable as is. It has to use a property called triggered which can be accessed using dot operator. Note that there is a slight difference when it comes to using these two statements. Let's look into some examples. Now this example has two threads. The first one triggers the event at 10 nanoseconds and the second one waits for the event at 20 nanoseconds. As we can see, the blocking will never see the event trigger, and as a result, the join will never happen, and thus the display will never happen. This is the same as before, except that blocking happens first, and event trigger happens later. As a result, the blocking will see the trigger and complete, and the join statement will happen, and the display will happen. Now, this is the interesting one when blocking and triggering happen at the same time. In this case, alias cares about precedence. If trigger happens first and blocking happens later, then the blocking will not see the trigger. Whereas if blocking happens first and trigger happens later, then the blocking can see the trigger. On the other hand, for the wait statement, the precedence doesn't matter. As long as both happen at the same time, the blocking will always see the trigger. Now, depending on how simulator execute the multiple threads, Using alias to block event may introduce random behavior as it may or may not see the event trigger that happens at the same timing. On the other hand, using wait event trigger will give a predictable result because the wait statement can always see the trigger that happens at the same timing. Alright, that's it for this time around. Do check the playlist for more videos on System Verilog and do support by clicking like, share and subscribe.